Let's get into some more Depeche Mode. Broken. Am I going to be broken off this? Last few blooming songs I listened to haven't been very great, so... I'm, I'm a broken man. Can you fix me, Depeche Mode? Fix me. By breaking me. If you want control Without any So wearing his, the lyrics are quite interesting because <laughs> I think my mind is going somewhere dirty with this, but I, I don't know if it's meant to be. It's like master and servant stuff, right? But what, I, don't, I, I just don't know uh, exactly why my mind's going there. I've, I'm probably on the complete wrong way with this one. There's a place where I go Without any sound Only you can reach me Only <laughs> you're allowed And you're so far away You're so far from here Do you remember A time we Okay, roll it back. Can I just listen to this part again? Just, just this part. I'll catch you when you fall in. Because you can hear I'll Martin catch you. as well. You oh. don't have to fall that far. You can make it. I will be there. Oh. You were broken from the start. You haven't got far to fall because I'm going to catch you. I'm right there. I'm right beside you. good after all them bad songs i wasn't i didn't go into this expecting anything i was actually running on like a low but uh, like fair play i love them i love i love the chorus to this when you Just ex 
accept someone for who they are, who who they are in life, you know, the way that they they act, the way that they treat you, the way everything, you know, they are the one for you. Because he said right at the beginning, I can't hear anybody else. I, you're the only one who can reach me. You're the only one who can understand me. So I will always be there for you, ready to catch you. I will be there because I love you. You don't even have to fall that far. If you fall, you're going to fall to me, you know, and I will help. It's just a really nice connection. It's a really, really close connection between two two lovers, two people. It doesn't even have to be lovers, I don't think. It, it, in this in this uh, scenario, it, it could well be anybody. It, it could be a, a, a friend. It, it, it could be um, your child, even. You know, it, it's like it's like uh, it's it's very nurturing. It's a very very nurturing thing. But uh, it, it could also be master and servant. <laughs> Still, I, I'm sticking to that. I, I, there's three possible uh, things with this song. Uh, however you want to, however you want to interpret it, really. Yeah. It could be any of the three. And it would make sense. Wow. Okay, Depeche Mode. Fair play. That one was good. I enjoyed that. Okay, that was good. I'm, I'm not going to say it's their best song. It's nowhere near their best song, but it's bloody good. Bloody, bloody good. The way that it, it kind of gets your mind thinking, and also that chorus is catchy. That chorus is catchy. It is wonderfully sung by here, by here Dave and, and, and flipping Martin in the back. Oh, I love Martin's high notes. I know I say every bloody video, but I'm going to carry on saying it. He has such an amazing voice. Uh, I reckon that Dave has progressed more than Martin. Martin sort of found his level and he stayed there, rightfully so. It's like he can stay there as long as he likes because it's just, I don't know, it's perfect already. But Dave, there has been a vocal progression from his early days to now. He's just been getting better and better. Uh, as he got older, he got better. It's like he's a fine wine, this man. He's like a fine wine, and you just add in that tiny little bit of vodka, you know, and, and that that's Dave, you know? This was actually great. I did, out of all the bloody songs I've heard recently, we were stuck in crap mode, but now we're just back to good old Apache mode. It is perfect. That was an easy double banger.